Hey guys, Coach Travis here, and I want to start this week's video off with congratulations to the athletes that competed at Duality. Uh, my hat's off to you guys for the effort that you put in over the weekend, and I'm just so, so just filled to the brim with um, appreciation for your effort and how hard you've been working, and also just so excited that you guys got that experience. Um, and, and also thank you to the members that came and supported the competing athletes. I know it made a huge difference. And uh, even the announcers were, were consistently uh, applauding our group for how big of a presence we had and for how loud we were while our athletes were competing. So again, amazing weekend. Just so excited for all of your success and excited to continue to work on improving and continuing to grow as athletes. So getting into this week's programming, let's talk about it. So we've been working on our toes to bar, uh, doing EMOMs every week for the last almost two months. And so this week we are going to kind of rip the bandaid off and say, all right, no more of our regressed movements. We're going to do a 10 minute EMOM of toes to bar. Now in that 10 minutes, if you have toes to bar, you're working on a max effort in the first 20 seconds of the minute to allow yourself to rest for 40 seconds. If you're still working on toes to bar, all I want you to do is spend the first 30 seconds working with everything you've got just to get your toes up to the bar, even if just for that one rep or as close as you possibly can to get that first rep. If it's only one rep, that's perfectly fine. If you can get one or two, even better. But again, we want to say, okay, even if we don't get a rep, we're going to try as hard as we possibly can with the goal of being one thing, and that's to get our toes up to the bar. Give yourself 30 seconds of that minute to rest and recover, and then we're going to repeat. Getting into day two, we have an eight minute AMRAP continuing, continuing with our GHD sit-ups. We're going to be doing two GHDs followed by 30 single unders, four GHDs, 30 single unders, six GHDs, 30 single unders. The goal with this is not to try to speed through and it's, it's not a double under jump rope type workout. It's a growing volume of GHD workout. So even if you have double unders, regress it down. This is just meant to give your core a bit of a break with a small, easy movement, and then go right back to a bigger set of GHDs, give your core break, GHDs, core break, etc. So it's not meant to be double unders heavy, it's meant to be GHD heavy, with the single unders being just a little break to allow the core to rest while we get ready for the next set. Getting into day three, we're gonna be doing a version of our pull-up work we've been doing, where we've been doing those high volume pull-up sets, except for this time, we're gonna go four rounds 15 band assist pull-ups, try to cut the band assistance that you've been using down, and then immediately hop off and we're going to superset that with hammer curls. So doing those dumbbell curls in that neutral grip versus the supinated grip. Again, just working on volume here, trying to build some volume and conditioning for our arms to help us with all of the hanging and pulling movements that we do on the rig. We're gonna do that for four rounds and we're gonna have a 90 second rest after each set. And then getting into day four, I know this is going to be one that a lot of people are going to want to skip, but I promise it's going to be helpful. So really try to like find it in your gut to stick this one out, complete it. Don't skip it. I promise it's going to help out tremendously. We have a double kettlebell thruster to bada. So we're going to be using some light weights here. We're not trying to get super, super heavy. The goal isn't to max out on strength. It's a conditioning piece. It's meant for cardio. It's meant to be able to hold on to our implement, get outside that comfort zone, get ready to jump right back in. The goal here is to help with minimizing the need for rest when we go from one thing to the other. So we're not standing around trying to catch our breath and Tabatas are a great way to do that. So we're gonna have two kettlebells. We're gonna work kettlebell thrusters on a Tabata. That's gonna be 20 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest, eight times. And again, should not be failing because of the weight in the hands. This should be something that you're thinking more about a leg burn, a breath type thing, not a shoulders fatiguing from how heavy the weight is. So go a little bit lighter on the, on the weight here than you typically would and just power through it. It's only four minutes. I promise you can do it and it will make you better. Again, congratulations to everybody on your effort this week, uh, weekend at Duality. I'm ex so excited about Jerkapalooza coming up in uh, just over a month. So hope you guys have a wonderful rest and recovery day today and I will see you in the gym this week.